Hello everyone, welcome to our Timeless Sunset Tarot. Now, this is a general reading and it is open to all zodiac signs. It is also timeless, so anytime you find yourself watching this video, you might have a message here for you. Now, let's try to see what is the main energy at the end of the day. Okay, we have here the Two of Wands. You are beginning something new. For some of you, it can be you're preparing for a journey. For some of you, you are planning for your future. So what comes to me right now, some of you might be planning to study in college or take a new course. So, so for some of you, it's one of that. And it can be overseas. For some of you, you're planning to travel to another place. Maybe it's related to your work. And you are preparing right now. You see, the person in the Two of Wands is well-dressed for the journey. Now, the place where the person is staying is quite stable and it seems to be comfortable. So, you try to see if it resonates with you. Right now, you are in a place where you feel comfortable, where you feel stable and so uh, right now you're planning to go on a trip so in a certain sense you're leaving behind your comfort zone so it will require a sense of adventure it will require an openness to discover new things to learn new things so we can always look at this opportunity as something positive like for example if you're going to a new place this will give you a chance to meet new people, maybe develop friendships along the way. It can be also that you will learn new things. For some of you, maybe it will teach you a little bit more about your destiny in your spiritual journey. It can be that way too. It can be a preparation for something else. It can be also that you will be brought to a place where you will feel so very much at home that some of you might consider it as a possible place where you can stay for a certain period of time. Now, whatever it is, whether it is a new, uh, a new study or a new place that you're going to visit, I feel that the invitation of the card is to look at it as something positive something that will bring you good things and uh, it is worth the leaving behind your comfort zone so it's like that uh, let's try to see how this will further unfold okay for some of you you will be given a choice whether you will truly leave behind your comfort zone in order to take a leap of faith to receive this new cup that the universe is offering you. I feel that for some of you, it's a new relationship. So it can be that you're going to another place in order to meet somebody, or you're going to another place, and when you are there, you will meet someone. Now, the universe is going to offer you something. And I feel that because it's a gift from the universe, it is somebody who will help you in your present life journey. Now, it doesn't have to be a romantic one or a romantic kind of relationship. It can be just a friendship or it can be also a working relationship. But the important thing here is that this person is going to help you in your present life situation. Now, there are certain relationships that are right now maybe getting your attention, and you are distancing yourself from them. It can be in the workplace, wherein some people are difficult to deal with. This is what I'm starting to feel right now. And because of that, you are distancing yourself with them. You still interact with them, but you are distancing yourself. Uh, it's like you're putting some boundaries in order to protect yourself. You see... The person has his hands crossed over his shoulder. So he's a little bit protective of himself. 
So for some of you, you might be in a situation right now. Many of you might be in a working relationship wherein some people are difficult to deal with and you are protecting yourself from them. But do not worry. Uh, help is on the way. The universe will, I think, give you the skills in order to handle such situations. Now, for some of you, uh, you might be considering yeah, leaving behind that kind of situation and opt for something new, the one that the universe is offering you. That's why for some of you, you are going on a journey uh, yeah, to change the atmosphere that you are in right now. Well, it happens sometimes there are some people that are difficult to deal with, but that's part of life. They too teach us something about life. But we can always say no also, and we can always choose something better. And it is a freedom that is given to us as a gift, just like a cup that is being offered from the sky, which we can see from the Four of Cups. Now let's try to see what is the advice of the universe for you. Truly the universe is giving you a gift. We have here the Ace of Swords. All the Aces are gifts coming from the universe. So you're going to receive a gift from the Divine, from the universe. And it will make you be aware of the love, the unconditional love coming from the Divine. And it is something that will somehow inspire you. It can be in the form of an inspiration. So there is a relationship that is coming your way. But aside from that relationship, which can be seen here in the Four of Cups, there's also the Ace of Swords, wherein you will receive a big idea, something that will set you on fire, something that will bring you success and stability. So whatever this is, there is a new idea. And whatever this new idea is, if you are resonating with this reading right now, that idea that is in somehow an inspiration for you at this moment, it will give you success. It will lead to success. So don't be afraid. Receive the gift openly and allow this gift to unfold. It's a big gift. It's something big. So it's something that you consider as something uh, novel, okay? Something, some, for some of you, you are like trailblazers. So it can be an inspiration. It, for some of you, might even be writing a book or something. Uh, whatever it is that you are working on right now and you feel you are on fire, you are being inspired. And I think it is related to this journey, maybe this idea uh, you will be able to present it to people you will meet along the way in the Four of Cups. And somehow these people will somehow appreciate what you have. And it will lead for uh, somehow people uh, giving honor to you. People recognizing the novelty of this new idea. So this is what we have for our uh, Timeless Sunset Tarot. For our Insights at Twilight, the message comes from Duke Ellington. And the message is, A problem is a chance for you to do your best. It reminds me of the phrase, When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. So, somehow this relates to your Four of Cups reading in our uh, Sunset Tarot today. Now, the Four of Cups shows something, a certain situation that does not make you happy. So for, so, for those of you, if you are in a working situation, working situation where some people are quite difficult or uh, they're making your life a little bit more challenging than usual, well, it's a chance for you to do your best. It's a chance for you to shine. Like, for example, at this time, the universe is giving you the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is a new idea. Now, you need to nurture this new idea. You need to take care of it. Uh, some things, you know, don't throw uh, jewels uh, on the feet of pigs, okay? What I mean is they will just trample on them. 
something like similar to what is written in the scriptures. Uh, take good care of this new inspiration. It's a gift coming from the divine. So be careful that it will not get into the wrong hands, especially those who are making your life difficult, those who are uh, jealous of what you are doing at this present time. So whatever this idea is, uh, nurture it, uh, discern to whom you're going to share it with, especially if it's just a new idea, keep it to yourself for now until it's completely uh, developed already. Then maybe when it's almost there, when you are about to present it, then it's about time for you to let the good things that the universe is doing in your life shine. So for some of you, you will might have to go to another place where you will be more appreciated rather than the place where you that you are going to leave behind. So the Four of Cups can also show you that you are in a situation that you might need to leave behind in order to go to another place where you will be more appreciated like that of the age ace of swords so the two of wands is like joining to another place where you are you will be more accepted and there is a saying the prophet is usually not appreciated in their hometown or uh, the prophet is usually not uh, given importance or maybe people uh, do not look up to or appreciate a person because they somehow feel they know that person already. So they, uh, the prophet is usually not welcome in his hometown. So something like that. So when you look at it, uh, this is the challenge for you right now. Uh, you might be in a challenging situation where people are making your life difficult, but that is an opportunity for you to turn that seemingly stumbling block into a stepping stone when the going gets tough you who is tough will get going and it's time for you to give your best and to shine but at the same time take care of this in inspiration that the universe is giving you it's a gift so cherish it protect it and treasure it at the same time discern well if there is a need for you to go to another place where you will be more appreciated, then do so. Especially when you feel inspired to do it. It can be a guidance coming from the inner realm, a guidance coming from the universe. Just go with the flow. Allow, be docile to the guiding hand of the spirit. So try to see how all this reading and these insights at twilight is resonating with you. I hope that whatever we found out for today will be of help to you as you face your life's challenges. Thank you for the likes and comments you've given to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. I hope to see you again soon. Until that time, may God continue to bless your ways.